Hey sweeties, I'm back today with a mini cupcake tutorial for you this time and I'm going to be icing some very cute and slightly spooky mini cupcakes. So if you love the cutesy Halloween look, you're sure going to love this one. So keep watching. Let's go. Okay, so I've already gone ahead and baked my vanilla and chocolate mud mini cupcakes. So they're ready to go and just make sure they're nice and cool. I've also prepared our buttercream. So here I've got a pastel orange. I really love the pastel look this season. Oh, it nearly came out of the bowl. I wasn't watching. Put it back, back in there. <laughs> I'm loving the pastel orange this season. Looks super cute. And I've already just mixed that up with our color mill orange fruit coloring. I really like the color mill colors because they give you a really concentrated look. So I highly recommend. And then I've got some white here, which I'm going to color with color mill candy. These are a little bit messy. So just be careful because they are liquid. They just go everywhere. But I'm just going to add in a few drops of candy. This is one of our favorite colors here in my bakery. You can see how pigmented it is and it gives a nice color. And they have a, such a wide range, it just makes it really easy to color match. While I've got such a light pink there, I'm going to go ahead and take one of my piping bags. We use box packaging here. We find them the greatest quality and really great value. So we highly recommend for all your packaging needs. I've got a small tip here, a little star tip. And I'm just gonna fold that down and take a big scoop of the light pink and squeeze that down and twist so it's ready to go. I'm just gonna set that aside. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add another squeeze of the candy color mill. And that's just gonna be able to deepen that pink so we have two shades. So I recommend that for when you're trying to do an ombre or a few shades, it just adds a nicer look when you've got multiple shades. And it's just an easy way to mix in the same bowl, so less dishes, which of course I like. Perfect, now that we've got our medium pink, I'm gonna go ahead and add that to another box piping bag, this time with a French chip. Now you can see we've got two shades of pink, so we're finished with that one. And we're gonna take one last piping bag with a bigger style French chip with our pastel orange bakery. So now we have our three colors ready to go and our buttercreams are all prepared and I've also got my sprinkles prepared. We're nearly there. So first we're gonna ice our cupcakes. I like to go in with the biggest style tip first and I like to do every second one with just one style tip. I think it looks the best. So I'm gonna go ahead with this French tip and now we're gonna just squeeze and then pull up. And I'm gonna do that on every second one because I feel like it's gonna look like a bit like a pumpkin, which is cute. And then we have our orange on. Now I'm gonna go ahead with the pink shades. And I'm gonna do a bit of a different design on the pink ones, just to make it a bit different. So I'm gonna take the smaller French tip and I'm gonna loop around in some circles, just to give it a wavy design. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just do one little blob of the orange on the side. And that just incorporates our orange for our Halloween theme. Now, just going in with the light pink, I'm just gonna finish off the missing gap with a squeeze of the light pink. So now our cupcakes are all iced and we're gonna make the toppers for the decorations. So I've got these stamps from Stamped by Amelia. They're a small business located in Australia and they have a website and Instagram. So I highly recommend checking them out. I'll pop their link in the description down below. Um, but they have these super cute mini cutters. So I'm gonna get some fondant out and we're gonna start making some icing toppers. If you have watched our channel for a little bit, you know that we love using the Bakehouse brand of fondant icing. So I'm gonna go ahead and use some corn flour on our bench. And I've already got some orange and pink fondant ready to go. And you wanna give that a light knead, just to make sure it's all smooth. And now we're just gonna roll them out. Okay, now that our fondant is rolled, we're just gonna go ahead and start stamping our cutters. I'm not gonna put the toppers on every one, I'm gonna go every second one, just so it doesn't look overkill. Go ahead and use your cutter to cut them out. I'm going to take some edible art paint in honey gold and that's ready to paint so it's all mixed up already. So I'm just going to squeeze some into a little bowl with a little paintbrush. I'm just going to go ahead and add some little gold details in my toppers. I 
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add our little toppers to the orange cupcakes. How cute are they? And now I've got a little bit of a sprinkle mix, which is white, black, and pink, with a little bit of orange. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sprinkle those a little bit on the ones without the toppers, just to tie all the colors together. And then I'm just gonna also go ahead and just add a little bit just around our toppers, just so they all are in sync. You can definitely do this before adding your toppers to make it easier, but I just changed my mind last minute. <laughs> I'm indecisive. <laughs> okay, now that our cupcakes are complete, I'm just gonna go in with this new product I've recently purchased in my bakery and I'm loving it. It's from the Moorish brand, it's called More Glow, and it's just an easy pump glitter spray. So all you gotta do is aim it at your cupcakes and lightly press and pump as little or as much as you want. As you can see, this product is absolutely amazing. It shows up so well and you can really, really see the glitter, especially on those fondant decorations. They really just make them really, really cute. So you can use this on all sorts of decorations. So it's definitely a must have in any cake decorators kit and it comes in multiple shades too, which is fantastic. I think I might have more glitter on me than on the cupcakes, but that's okay. I don't mind being glittery. Thank you so much for watching my mini cupcake tutorial today. I really hope this inspired you to get creative and change up your color scheme this Halloween. I love pink, as you can tell, so I thought we'd make sure you incorporate that and make a nice cute set. If you do recreate this at home, please comment down below or tag me on Instagram at Caitlin Matheson. I'd love to see what you create. Stay spooky.